Hello, I'm Seth Johnson with Land House. So a question that is asked quite often is, can a ram pump run an irrigation system? Well, in a previous test we found out that I had 15 PSI up here at the garden, which is 10 to 12 feet above the ram pump itself. So what we're going to do today is use a digital timer and a sprinkler and see how well this works as an irrigation system. So let's go down here and crank up the ram pump and get started. Here's the intake of the ram pump and it seems to be fairly clear so we're good here. Now we're down here at the pump. I'm going to close off the delivery end. Then I'm going to come over here to the swing valve and uh, turn open this valve. Uh, now find a good stick. Sometimes uh, little creatures get in the drive pipe and I gotta clean it out some. Hopefully we're good today. Alright, I'm going to slowly start opening this in. Put water up to our garden hose. Now I need to say uh, a little plug for my uh, pumps. I do assemble and sell these at landthehouse.com. So if you'd like, head over there now and pick one of them up. Now that the pump is ready to go, I'm going to install this digital timer here onto the end of the hose. Now this is an Orbit digital timer for a garden hose and uh, you can buy them on Amazon. I'll toss a link down at the bottom. It's a pretty cool little timer. This way you can set your ram pump to work at night and not have to be here to water your garden. Now it's too hot out right now to actually water the garden so I'm just going to hook this thing up here up just above the garden and see what kind of potential we got here. Okay, so we're back at the timer. Let's go to set clock. Let's just say it's 7.24 a.m. Start time, let's go to Oops, too far. 7.30 to make sure I get time to turn the pump on. It's going to run for three minutes. How often? Every day. And we're good to go. Let's go turn on the pump. All right, the pump is on. We're going to wait for this timer to go off. There it goes. Let's go up to our sprinkler and see what we get. It's purging out all the air in that pipe. So here's what 15 PSI looks like out of this sprinkler here. Let's see what kind of range it's getting. Let's see, it's lightly hitting here, so that's about four foot. So it's hitting roughly eight feet. Um, really nothing over here. So with 15 PSI, not getting tons of good results, but let's see what else we can do here. That one, some. Now I'm thinking a drip line would work pretty good with 15 PSI. Definitely the best one right there. So that's doing a little bit, but now let's see um, back to this old sprayer here. 
which is what I've been using in the past to water the garden. So that's a lot more right there than what this thing is providing. So you're basically looking at what 15 PSI will do to a garden hose. Uh, it is enough to water a garden probably with a drip irrigation system. Um, this thing needs a little bit more. So I may go uh, to the store and find a sprinkler that requires 15 PSI or less. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm Seth Johnson with Land the House. And I will see you next time. Bye.